desert, where are the Clone Hero videos? Where is the Pokemon video you promised? Um, well, not to worry. I do have some Clone Hero content in the works. Uh, FC Premix, I'm pretty close to FCing uh, from GH3. Hopefully that'll happen soon. Um, I've gotten two runs past Agro part, which is the hard part, but unfortunately after the hard part is more hard parts. So that song is just Choke City, really. Uh, my World Tour video, I know you've been waiting a long, long time for that. It'll come out in September. I know that's a long way off. I promise the wait will be worth it. I have some pretty big plans for that video. As for my Pokemon video, uh, how I completed the Pokedex, it turns out that scripting videos and then recording a scripted video and doing all the editing takes a lot of time, and I'm not very good at any of that stuff. So, it'll be a bit. Um, not as long as the World Tour video. I will probably have it out early july we'll say so uh that should be cool but yeah you might be wondering why i've been playing all these other random games and i will tell you Hanamabi in the comments of one of my youtube videos told me to check out a site called challenge enthusiasts which you can see here they also have a discord essentially this site allows you to complete really difficult games on Steam to get points, and it's kind of addicting. So, yeah, you're probably going to see some more content uh, from me working on games for this site. Um, so, yeah, just by joining up and linking my Steam account, I already had uh, a few points I had stuff from Geometry Dash, I had stuff from Celeste, uh, and stuff from Portal. I had five points from Portal. Um, to fully claim my points for Geometry Dash and Celeste, I had to submit some proof, which for Celeste was just a video of me getting any Goldenberry, and for Geometry Dash was uh, screenshots of three levels to prove that I had did them. And yeah, I got 30 points from Geometry Dash, 20 points from Celeste, and 5 points from Portal. Uh, so essentially, just by doing nothing, uh, besides submitting proof for stuff I had already done, I ranked all the way up to rank D, which is the second rank on the site, because uh, I had 55 points. I then completed Bejeweled 3, which was another 15 points, so that put me up to 70. And in this video, I will be showing World of Goo, which this past week I completed to get another 10 points, which put me up to 80 points. Um, and yeah, there's a ton of games. There's primary objectives, which are like the main stuff to go for. This is the stuff that gets you the points. And then there's community objectives, which are essentially like bragging rights. Uh, they don't get you any points, but you get a cool badge on your profile to show that you did them. And uh, my first ever community objective that I got was from World of Goo. Uh, there's a few for Geometry Dash and Celeste, but they're much harder than the primary objectives for those games. So I have not gotten any of them yet. And Bejeweled and Portal don't have any community objectives. So this is the only one I have so far, and it's the one I'm going to be showing off in today's video. But yeah, uh, there's a ton of games on this site. You can go over here and check out all the games. There's like um, 65 pages of games sorted into six genres and five tiers. Tier five are the hardest, and there's some good games here. Um, Celeste is here, Adofi, um... Crypt of the Necrodancer, um, Hollow Knight, Project Diva. Like, there's quite a few games here that I would consider going for someday, and that is, like, really cool. And, yeah, if we check out my games that I own, I own quite a few, actually. Uh, I own a Dofi, um, like, Dark Souls 2 and 3, 
Uh, there's quite a few games here. Um, I might go for a tier two next. I'm not sure. Or I might go for some of these genres that I haven't really touched yet. I need an action game and a strategy game and a bullet hell game. I kind of want to just like get one game of every genre. So my like stacks here will be like a proper distribution and not like a weird blob. Um, but yeah, my current goal is to get to C rank. Getting to C rank, which is 250 points. So it's a bit of a ways off. But getting to C rank allows you to like recommend games for the site. And that sounds pretty cool. So I want to do that. Uh, but yeah, let's get right into World of Goo. Uh, to give some quick context here, um, this is the community objective for World of Goo, which requires making a tower in the sandbox mode that is tall enough to see the final billboard of the game. To get this, you essentially need to get like 35 meters up, which is pretty tall uh, and took me quite a while to do. Every attempt took like 10 minutes because for some reason the goos just weren't like sticking to the tower. So I had to like throw them all on manually, which was a pain. But yeah, um, I got the community objective and I 100% of the rest of the game. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. I highly recommend checking out Challenge Enthusiasts, uh, joining the Discord, uh, getting onto the site, linking your profile. Everyone I've spoken to is super nice, and if you enjoy grinding challenges like I do, you'll have a ton of fun, I bet.
Who? Hello. Let's go, I did it. I got to the final billboard in World of Blue. It's over. I never have to play this game again. Holy kipper, man. That was an awful experience. I should do that. Whoops.